the mother of a boy whose class was next in line before the Hillcrest Primary School tragedy has revealed her feelings of relief and guilt. All five young victims of Thursday's Tasmanian school tragedy have been named by police. Addison Stewart, 11, Zane Meller, 12, Jai Sheehan, 12, Jalela Jane Marie Jones, 12, and Peter Dot, 12, were the students killed when a jumping castle was thrown into the air by a gust of wind at Hillcrest Primary School in Devonport at about 10 a.m. The victims were grade 5 and 6 students celebrating the end of the school year when the freak accident occurred. Three other students are in hospital in a critical condition after they were knocked from the inflatable when it was 10 meters in the air. Another student was discharged overnight and is now recovering at home. Today the mother of a boy whose class was next in line for the jumping castle before the freak accident said she felt both relieved and guilty. We all feel so heartbroken for the parents involved, and feel guilty that we are also relieved our children were not injured, the woman, named Tanya, told the Hobart Mercury. The school had a jumping castle for school breakup last year as well. You wouldn't dream a fun activity day would end like this. Her nine-year-old son said, it was our turn next. Peter Dot's shattered aunt, Tamara Scott, has set up a GoFundMe to support Peter's father, Andrew, raising more than $1,600. Hi I'm Tamara, on Thursday the 16th of December 2021 my brother Andrew lost his son Peter due to an incident at school in Devonport, Tasmania, Ms. Scott wrote. Peter was a young 12-year-old boy who was full of life and adventures. Moose Scott told the Daily Mail that her brother was, beyond shattered, and that he had broken down while collecting his son's school bag on Friday. He went to the school this morning to collect his school bag, he felt he had to do that, and he just cuddled it and cried, Moose Scott told the publication. He's unrepairable. It was him and his dad against the world.